home of the Mariners since 1999, T-Mobile Park here in Seattle. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Seattle Mariners. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now on the hill for the Mariners, Emerson Hancock. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. The pitch. Down big ball here, rolls foul. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. One and two now. There's a swing and a drive. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. This is J.J. Blade. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Rojas makes the grab on the run. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. There's a strike, 95 of that one. One out, the runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. In for a strike, and it's 0-2. In the air, out towards right center. Rodriguez racing after it. Grabs it on the run. That's out number two. That is good. The left fielder, Seth Brown. So here's Brown at the plate. That one fouled off. Next offering upstairs. And another ball. Toro on its second with two down. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. So they work around the leadoff double. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. at T-Mobile Park and pitching in this one for Oakland Ross Stripling and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know it's just a matter of luck it's not having a feel difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Josh Rojas, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. 
Stripling, 6-1 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a changeup, oh, a counts. curve, and he works in a sinker. The pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Nope. That's inside. Outside corner. There's a strike. We got a full count. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. outside runner at first with no outs here and now two and one really nice spot there on that 2-0 to get back in the count I mean hitters looking to turn on something but tough pitch like that he's just going to take it next That's offering cool. misses three and one the only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And he walked it. Take the base. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big That's inning cool. plenty of times. Two That's runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. That oh, one missed. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Got him! And that is a big first out. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've that seen, but it certainly got away oh, with the location you. there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. And a foul ball left side. Front for strike two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. That's an out. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4-6-3 inning ending double play. New inning getting started. Digging in for Oakland, J.D. Davis. J.D. Davis. The why to kick the pitch. And ball one. And now two and nothing. 
Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris, gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there, excellent pitch selection to go with. Well, that's Next one is off the plate, and the count is 3-1. and one. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Kyle McCann up next for the A's. And a good eye there. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Here at the top of the second. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. And he chases that one below the zone. Well, it shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Oh, and one. And there's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So one out with two aboard. Now it's the shortstop, Daryl Hernandez. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two on, one out. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Oh, and that skips into the dirt. Second inning here, no score. One, two. The shortstop takes the ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Now the third baseman, Brett Harris. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. First pitch, just misses. Two outs. Up and in. Now 2-0. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That's off the mark. Ball three. Love how this guy grinds out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, but he's worked himself into a really good hitter's count, trying to pick up a two-out RBI. That's in there. Three balls and a strike. And that'll load the bases. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle yeah, finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team.
Toro hey. in the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Popped in the air. Left field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. A's threatened, but leave them loaded. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Mitch Garver up to hit here. The designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Stripling back to work. And a foul ball. And now the one. Swing and a foul straight back. The 0-2. Outside, that's a ball. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Wouldn't chase that time. Up the middle, and that squirts through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Quick swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. He went around, says Rusty Valentine. Garver gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. And there's a foul ball. The one two just off the inside edge. It's a good take. The two two on the way swings and misses and that's the first out. Well oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. For two strikes you're looking to protect and halfway to the plate you know you've committed and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to take the cap. Here's Luis Arias. And that one fouled off. Catches the outside corner. Pull a two down. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Bounced up the middle. It's through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Dylan Moore. And that's in there for strike one. The M's with a chance to score first. Bottom half of inning number two.
Called strike right there. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss struck him out, and there's two away. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. And here's the catcher, Sevi Zavala. Fought off foul. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. This one in the air center field. He's under it. And that ends the inning. Mariners leave a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Back in Seattle, here's the center fielder, J.J. Blade. J.J. Blade. The wind and the pitch. Inside just missed. That one misses. Two and oh. And that's in for a strike. And that's through there for a strike. Got him. And one away. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. 0 1 for count. Bounce to the right. And that one handled. Gets it to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now batting, the left fielder, Seth. And next will be the cleanup Brown. hitter, Seth Brown. Grounded out his first time. Right side, that's a hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Davis one, no takes strike. a ball as he stands in for the second time. The 1-0. -oh. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Brown, the runner at first with two gone. That one fouled off. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And he deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. One hit, one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. 
And we're back Ooh, as we go Mariners. to the last of the third. The Here's Josh Rojas. Yeah. Rojas. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Hey. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One up, one down. The center fielder, number 44, Julio Rodriguez. Now the number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. His second of the year, it's 1-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. So let's take a closer look inside the numbers. That blast from StatCast, 113 miles an hour off the bat, Ziggy. And it just flew out of here, Berg. Even if you only heard the ball hit the bat, you knew that was a home run. I mean, he put a perfect swing on it, and the numbers back it up. And now, Jorge Polanco in there at the knees. Strike one. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. Now batting right fielder, Mitch Henniger. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Mitch Henniger. He hit into a double play his first time up. And that's inside, off the inside edge. One and oh. Right through there for a strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Just nope. missing there. And the count is even two and two. Really nice slider right there. Sweeping across the dish but just couldn't hang the edge. Just outside. And now three and two. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's carrying. Out of here. A gigantic blast. Second home run of the inning for him. It's 2-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, but it paid off. Next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. And there's the strike. And that one missing low. Two outs, base is empty. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two down, nobody on. Pitches in the dirt, and now three and one. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball.
That one is absolutely belted. That's carrying. That one is gone. They go back to back. His fourth home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 3-0. back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate this is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club and up next for Seattle Ty France struck out swinging his first time and it's fouled away Yoan. Hernaez. Zips it to first. Out number three. Start of the fourth. Here's the catcher, Kyle McCann. Kyle McCann. Here's something cool, Boog. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. I remember as a rookie with the Chicago White Sox, we opened the season at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing at T-Mobile Park. It's a beautiful place, great scenery from center field, and I always enjoyed playing here. Yeah, the right hater deals. And that's outside, and it's two and one. Ground ball to the right side, into the outfield, base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. The right fielder, number four, Lawrence. Now it's the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Butler goes six feet, three inches, 23 years old. And he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2018. Late with the swing there. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next pitch is outside. Now one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. And Two another ball. That's three off ball. the mark. And now it's three and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Three, two, and ball four, two aboard. Not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really now dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. Here's the shortstop at the play. Daryl Hernandez. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Rodriguez makes the grab one down. The battle, the third base. Brett Harris. So up next, Brett Harris. He reached out a walk his first time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. The Athletics trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. That one drifts inside.
right through there for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And that one a little bit high. Swing and a ball popped up. Should have this one. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting the second baseman, Abraham Toro. Next up for the A's, Abraham Toro. One for two. Foul ball there. Two on, two outs. Nope, that's the ball. Now this is in the air down the line. Rojas settles under it, makes the catch in and over. A strand a couple. They trail it here, three nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the third baseman, Luis Urias. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. So digging in, Dylan Moore. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The shortstop takes the ball. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Urias on at first. Nobody out. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Center field. Lede has a beat on it. He's got it. Up next to Seattle, the catcher, Sebi Zavala. And here is Sebi Zavala. He's 0 for 1. The slider just misses. Righty delivers. Whoa, that's down. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Strike two. Two, 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 two. And a pitch. Headed down the line. And that lands in no man's land a foul ball. Line drive, base hit right center field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The left fielder, number four. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the left fielder, Josh Rojas. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Counts one and oh.
the pitch. And there's a foul ball. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. To the right side. Boots it. Now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. He's already homered here in this one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Bases loaded, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Stepping in, Jorge Polanco. And fouled off. Two outs, bases are full. Good eye in that spot. Clips the corner. Right side. Butler moving under it. Makes the grab. That is the inning. And the Mariners strand the bases loaded, but they lead it three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, J.J. Blade. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good Whoa, live arm man. delivers. The Mariners have some bullpen action for the first time. George Kirby, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Bolton getting cranked up as well. And here it comes. Too high. Bolton. Righty to the plate. Swing it a foul straight back. And the righty deals. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Next offering is down low. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three. Comes out and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's Oakland's DH, Brent Rooker. and deals tap of the zone and it's called a strike base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth struck him out swinging couldn't catch up to the heater just blown away in that at bat three fastballs all strikes 
He wasn't even able right. to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at-bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Brown in the box again. Takes a strike. Ground ball left side. And it gets by him. And that extends the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So two down, J.D. Davis. Up next for the A's. Out there to center. Rodriguez settles under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. One left for Oakland. Still down 3-0. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Kyle Muller. He's pitching on two days rest. Mitch Hanniger getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. Mitch Hanniger. As the lefty gets to work. And that one hit to first. And that hits off the base. And that rolls into the corner. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners. And first offering is fouled off. That one missing inside. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Austin Adams appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Kelly also getting ready. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Nope. That's inside. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two ball, two strike. I got three and two. This one in the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Three balls, two strikes to count. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Love how he just kept it simple there. Didn't come out of his mechanics. Nice tight swing, hard hit ball. So up next, Ty France. And that's in there at the knees. Front rip foul. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. That's the ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And now the lefty. <laughs> In the dirt, blocked. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Two.
two two. Line drive. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Luis Urias up next for the Mariners. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Garver over at second. France on at first with nobody out. That's in there. And a count even at one. That's nope, inside. inside. Ball two. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. That's three singles in a row. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now the shortstop, Dylan Moore. Right through there for a strike. 0-1. And it's even up. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And a pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Sebi Zavala digs in now. And that's outside. And nope. another ball. Okay. Base is loaded. One away. There's a swing and a miss. pitch Three. chases that one out of the zone now two away well I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there he got the change up and still late on it you rarely see that it almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up I mean if you can't catch up to the off speed stuff there's no way you're going to touch a fastball back to the top of the Seattle order here's the Mariners leadoff man Josh Rojas and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back there. Out of here. And that's a grand slam. A four spot on the board. It's 8 nothing. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish.
Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. It's the grand slam to drive in for. Really good job at the plate. Michael Kelly gets handed the rock out of the pen. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. Here's a high chopper, Toro. Yet he beats oh, the safe. throw. He's safe. Got himself in great position and couldn't have played that one any better, but just stood no chance with that great speed running down the line. Runner at first with two away. Next to hit, Jorge Polanco. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So it's a grand slam for Seattle. It's now an 8 nothing game. You're dialed into the show. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle McCann. The catcher. Kyle McCann. The why to kick the pitch. Ball one. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Bryce Miller up and loosening in the pen. That's in there, and it's one and one. That's down and in. A little bit high, and that's ball three. That clips the corner. Left hand batter waits. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. This one in the air right field. Hanniger pulls it down, and there's one away. The right Butler. So digging in, Lawrence Butler. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that clips the inside corner. Got a ball, one strike. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Polanco tosses He's the first. He's out. The bat, number two, shortstop, Daryl Hernayez. Daryl Hernayez now at the plate. And that's downstairs and outside. Next offering is in for a strike. And downstairs. The A's with a lot of ground to make up. And we're the top half of the sixth.
Here comes a pitch. That one lifted to left. Rojas makes the play, and that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Mariners eight and the A's nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, we go, we go bottom Mariner. six. Yeah, the batter the now, field. Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And yeah, a strike. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Lede under it. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting the designated hitter. Mitch Garver up Garver. next for the Mariners. Three for three, two singles, and a homer. Eight. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. home run his second home run of the game and they tack one on the board it's nine nothing that's their fifth homer of the game man they're all getting into the action it's starting to feel like a home run derby up here when a guy's got a real hard fastball you can't overswing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Base is empty one away. And now the first baseman, Ty France. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. And that's a base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. So up next, Luis Urias. Three for three with three singles. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, to take your game to another level. That misses the zone. Ball one. Right-handed reliever. Two That's balls, in. no strikes Ball to count. France stands at first with one out. to the right center and that should be extra bases around third he'll score easily and it's a double digit lead as they're up by 10 well that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher just a great approach looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch and right off the bat he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second and stepping in for the Mariners, Dylan Moore. There's a strike. And there's a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. 
Now the catcher up to hit Sebi Zavala. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Two on, one out. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Pitch kicks away. And now, a single might score two. The one two. That one just misses. That one misses. Full count now. Base hit, one run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 12-0. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Got kind of tied up on that one inside, but he was able to sneak it. Austin Adams will take over here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. Nope. All one there. That's inside. Right hander kicks deals. Wouldn't That's chase that time. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Left hand hitter waits. In the air, right side of the infield. Toro settles underneath it. They got it for out number two. The batter, the center fielder, Julio. Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Rodriguez checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Nope, he held back. Two outs. Inside, ball two. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Lucas Ersek, the young right-hander, up and throwing. And he deals. Nope, outside. And there's the automatic. Yeah, the right hander deals. Swings and misses. And it's three and two. Three and two. Good job to fight that one off. Outside, and that is ball four. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special the during your walk into the ballpark the today? Basement. I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny.
Polanco stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two on, two outs. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Brown going back. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Bryce Miller. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. Digging in for Oakland, Brett Harris. The third baseman, Brett Harris. The wind and the pitch. Ball, that's out. And the 1-0. Nope. Two balls, no strike. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Three balls, one strike. And a big swing and a miss. Helpful. to finish him off. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Two down. The center fielder, number 33, J.J. Two outs, base is empty. Bladet. Next up for the A's, J.J. Bladet. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so... I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. So, man aboard, Brent Rooker. Up next for the A's. And a foul ball. Lede off of first with two away. A little out front there as he swings through it. And that one hammered. Rodriguez drop step going back and brings it in at the wall. This one pretty well decided at this point. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Mariners 12 and the A's nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the Hold inning. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the, the Mariners. Here. Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger. Adams back to work. Nope. And another ball. 2-0. That one catches the corner for a strike. That's a little bit low. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. High 
high fly ball out into left center field. Hernias under it. Makes the grab one away. That's a really nice play ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. So now the DH spot. Mitch Garver looking for his third home run of the game. Yeah, he blasted his second of the game in the sixth inning. This guy looks like he's playing on beginner mode in this one. Beginner mode is where it's at, Chris. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Toro slings the first two up, two down. Well, as a hitter, it can be kind of tough. You get a hard-throwing reliever that comes in the ball game. You don't know exactly what his pitches are doing, and that clearly blew him up on the hand, sawed off that bat. Tell you what, the bat companies, they're pretty happy when guys like this come in out of the bullpen. France in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Oh, one now. And that one is inside ball one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Two down, nobody on. That's ball two. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. And here it comes. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. And one, two, three go to Mariners. But they lead it by a count of 12 to nothing. We go to the eighth. Now at the plate, Seth Brown. Seth Brown. The wind of the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering way off the plate. Into center. Rodriguez settles under it. Puts it away for the out. One down. The first base is number five. J.D. Davis. Now it's J.D. Davis. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to no. The pitch. And ball another two. ball. That Eight. clips the zone. And now two and two. Righty to the plate. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. That misses the zone. And now it's three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. McCann batting with one down, takes a strike. There it was, a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And the righty deals. Pitch misses. And one and one. one, and, one. 
And that one is in for a strike. McCann tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. That one misses. And the count is filled up. So two down now, and here is Lawrence Butler. Butler. Ball, that's in. The Athletics with a lot of ground to make up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Kicks and fires. A one-two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Davis leads off first with two down to the inning. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two outs. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the play, and it's out number three. The A's strand one. Hasn't been their day. It's 12-0. Bottom of the eighth, Leading and now for Seattle, Mariner, Luis Urias. The third baseman, Luis Urias. And the pitch. And a foul ball. Eight. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. 0 oh 2. That oh. one missed. Good eye. That's right. Wait for it. Kicks and deals. Two balls, two strikes. Two two. Three. And down on strikes he goes. One out. And here is Dylan Moore. Not shortstop. Dylan Moore. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. No, inside. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a pop up. Makes the grab for the second out. Up next for Seattle, the catcher, Sebi. Sebi Zavala, the, the next to hit. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting in today's world of baseball compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently oh, whatever count. you get offensively is a bonus but he's got to put the fingers down he's got to present pitches to the umpire they're going to help his pitcher get more strikes I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page and that's something that this guy does really well gets in sync with his pitchers the one one is fouled off Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in there. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it.
All set to start the ninth in this one. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Daryl Hernandez. The right-hander back to work. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch and sort of what were the attributes you said that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack, could understand it. All right, this is a, a big, you know, payout if I can come through with a knock here. But I think when you really look at the numbers, you really audit everything, guys kind of are who they are. And there's one down. Now that the third base He's two outs away. Harris. Digging in for Oakland, Brett Harris. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter. High fly ball down the left field line. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. That'll fire up the dugout. Third home run of the season. It's 12-1. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. Well, this thing was hooking down the line the entire way. He knew it was going to be close, and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to keep his hands inside just enough to keep it fair. Next to hit, Abraham Toro. And the first offering is not close. Fastball catches the corner at the knees. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. The pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. Still two and two after the foul ball. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. Ground ball right side. France. So it was oh. a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. The center field, number 33, J.J. Blade. The Athletics down to their last out. Next up for the A's, J.J. Blade. Ground ball, and this should do it. On the first, ball game. And the Mariners take this one in a blowout. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 12-1 is the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.